You suck. Nothing you draw is any good. Who do you think you're kidding? That's the best you can do? You'll never be as good as so-and-so. You never even went to art school. Nobody will ever want your art. You should try something you might be good at. You're not a real artist. Why are you wasting your time? That voice is very familiar. I've been a professional artist for more than 20 years, making my full-time living at it for the past 15. I know a lot of professional artists, old, young, middle-aged. Some of them don't sell anything. Others are hugely successful. But most, including me, we're somewhere in between. We have different levels of education, are all still learning, and many have become teachers. We work in different mediums, various industries, alone and in groups. No matter what our age is, some of us are just starting, while others have been at it for decades. There are a lot of things that make us different, where we live, how we see the world, where we get our inspiration, what we want to get from our art, and what we want to say with it. But the one thing we all share, the thing we don't like to mention, but we'll admit to one another in dark corners of coffee shops and late at night in an online chat, is that we all hear that voice. Some days it's loud, others it's a whisper, but it's always there. When things aren't going very well, it's easy to hear that critical chatter, our worst enemy, inescapable. Sometimes it sounds like a friend trying to save us from further pain. But it's there in the good times, too, even after finishing a piece, making a sale, winning an award, getting thousands of likes and shares, that voice is there. Don't get used to this. Your best work is behind you. Sure, they like this one, but you don't have anything new to offer. You're just going to do the same type of thing next time, and these days, people get bored pretty easily. Your yesterday's news. Worse, your yesterday's fake news. That voice is always there, and it never shuts up. But we're artists. That voice is part of the admission price. We must endure it and create anyway, because there's another voice too. Step up. Make something. Share your vision. Take a risk. Because as much as it's painful to hear the first voice to question the value of our work, which ultimately makes us question the value in ourselves, the voice urging us to unleash our creations can be even more painful. By exposing our work to the world, we risk being laughed at, ridiculed, marginalized, and dismissed. By keeping it hidden for fear of all that, we risk much more. We risk regret. The regret of spending year after year wishing we'd listen to the better voice, and that regret will get louder the more time that passes, until eventually it's too late. There is no more time, and we didn't create anything. Here's a secret the first voice never shares, and the second voice is sometimes afraid to say, but that every artist knows, which is why we keep going. We don't actually suck. Our best is good enough for now, and the more we create, our best will get better. None of us was good when we started, and even when we got good, there's always room for improvement. We are not wasting our time. Both voices are part of the package, and all of us spending our time toiling away at our art, we know this, even though it sometimes makes us miserable. We pay our dues, we take our lumps, we have demons with whom we battle and better angels urging us on. We are artists. And here's one more secret. Are you listening? So are you.